A flushing toilet hooked up to a fresh water supply and a stable sewage line is something many people in the modern world take for granted. <laughs> According to the World Health Organization, approximately 2.3 billion people don't have access to the basic sanitation afforded by modern plumbing. But all those people still turn food into waste, and that waste still has to go somewhere. Unfortunately, without plumbing, it ends up going pretty much everywhere you don't want it to go, including into soil or into bodies of water, sometimes causing the rapid spread of nasty and potentially fatal diseases. Some of the poorest. Their toilet may look like this, a pit latrine. This problem weighs on the minds of plenty of people, including some of the crusading heads of charitable foundations and some of the world's most inventive scientists, who have been trying to solve the problem of poop and make widespread sanitation possible. In the latter category, for example, there's Bill Gates. The Microsoft founder and his wife spend most of their time these days funding and facilitating projects via the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Since 2011, the foundation says it's invested $200 million and pledged another $200 hundred million dollars to make the toilet issue in the developing world a little less, well, crappy. On November 6th, 2018, Bill Gates spoke at the reinvented Toilet Expo in Beijing, China, a place where inventors and organizations showed off cutting-edge bacteria-killing, literally life-saving bathroom technology. I want to talk to you today about toilets. Gates really wanted to drive home his message about how dangerous a problem poor sanitation can be. And so, during his speech, he held up a jar of human feces to demonstrate how many toxic bacteria are present in even a small amount of human waste. Oh, meat poop. It's showtime. And that stuff doesn't just contain bacteria, but also... And 100,000 parasitic worm eggs, which you've got a little animation uh, to make you think even more about that. But the real stars of the reinvented Toilet Expo were the 20 toilets of the future on display. And these designs really are something special, as they specifically don't need a connection to water or sewage lines. In other words, they can be used anywhere and everywhere, especially in communities that don't have plumbing infrastructure in place. Gates is a fan, placing this new category of Johns among, quote, the most significant advances in sanitation in nearly 200 years. One of the most notable loos at the reinvented Toilet Expo, the suitably scientifically named nanomembrane toilet. Here's how it works. After a person does their business, they close the lid. That sets a series of gears into motion, which flush waste away into a holding tank at the bottom of the toilet, but without needing any water or electricity. As the mechanism rids the toilet of waste, a thin blade scrapes the bowl clean. A spiral device elevates only the solid parts of the waste out of the holding tank, cutting it into small pellets and then feeding it into a tiny combustion chamber. That's where the poop gets burned, and all the bacteria and eggs and whatever other nasties it holds die a fiery death. The user has to clean out the ashtray once a week. But what happens to your number one? Evacuation comp. The liquid waste passes into a channel full of membrane bundles that treat and sanitize before sending it into a holding area at the front of the toilet. It can be used for watering crops or maybe for bathing livestock, even though it's not drinkable. <sighs> Don't do that. The nanomembrane is currently being tested in Ghana, where organizers aim to get people used to it in public restrooms. Then, over time, they hope the manufacturing costs will drop enough to allow for widespread household use. Goodbye disease, and goodbye dingleberries. She's a dingleberry! Yeah! <laughs> 